What's up, y'all? It's me, Aggie Out Loud. I need to work on that right there. See that white right there? My wall's gray in the living room. I don't know where I'm looking, but I need to finish right there. Let me get my coffee. I just got home from... Where am I looking? I just got home from work. I have had no rest. And for those... Let me say this. I just want to give a big shout out to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Much love. Mwah. If you don't know, I work third shift in the medical field. Oh my gosh. Y'all, it ain't nothing like some coffee with some flavor creamer in the morning. I tell you, I'm telling you. It's nothing like it. Got to be more careful. Okay, so. Whew, I am home. Thank you, Jesus. I mean, it was a good work shift and everything. But I'm glad to be back home. So. I am... I got so much on my mind. It's probably the ADHD, but I got so much on my mind. Like, I was looking up, um, and I'm probably going to say it wrong, but, I, but it's Final Cut Pro. It's video editing, but you can only use the software with, um, it's got to be like a Mac PC. And I know, because I talk about this a lot. The reason why I talk about this a lot is because I want... There are two apps that I've downloaded on my Android that will allow me to, to, to edit videos. Um, not, like, to the extent that, like, um, like, that this Final Cut Pro, for example, or Adobe would, but... Did I say that right? Adobe? I'm sorry, y'all. <sighs> These messages. But, but it allows me to do some editing to the videos. But I just, I say this often and it's just what it is. Because I just, I see so many YouTubers, whether they're fake or not, that are able to really make some awesome videos because they have a PC which most people do but a lot of people don't or they have a laptop or they've got like this excellent equipment but it, it mainly boils down to you know a good video camera and great editing and I just, I don't have, there's only so much editing I can do on my cell phone. But I always bring, I always tend to bring this up every, every few months. Not, not on purpose to be like constantly bringing it up, but it's just, I want so badly to be able to make my videos really pop. You know what I'm saying? And, and add graphics and, and be able to just do all of that you know what I mean and, and and make really awesome videos with great editing but you know I'm a single parent and, and it's just I have to prioritize and I haven't been able to financially afford to get a laptop to get a PC so I'm doing the best I can with what I have to work with now, a lot of people would just say, bump that. I'm just not even going to do videos until I get all this great equipment. That's not me. I was like, I'm not going to be one of them people. I'm going to keep making videos and just do the best I can with what I have. So I'm going to end it on that or end that because I know some of y'all are tired of hearing me talk about it. But y'all, I'm so sorry. But if y'all only knew... All right, one more sip, just one more sip. I 
I've got to tell y'all something funny. Y'all y'all ready? So me and my daughter, we um we were asleep the other night, right? Well, she w I, we was asleep and I woke up. And she was still asleep though, right? She, I mean, she was fast asleep. She was snoring a little bit. And I decided to like make a noise to see if she was going to hear it. So I went, mm, just like that, right? Next thing I know, now mind y'all, she's asleep. Next thing I know, she goes, mm. so I went, mm. and she went, mm. but I could tell she was gone. She was a fast asleep. And so we went back and forth with it. Hold up. <coughs> we went back and forth with, with it for about a good two minutes. It was so precious, y'all. That's my baby girl. Mm. Now, let me say this. You know, there's lots of... When it comes... To, I don't even want to talk about bullying. Because that, that, that's a whole nother vlog. But And my daughter's not getting bullied. But... Let me just say this. I'm going to make it more about just anybody despite their you know regardless of their age people that that feel the need to talk about other people in a negative way I mean unless it has something like let me just say this I'm one of those people I got picked on really bad when I was a child like all the way up to high school I got picked on so bad. I mean, like, people would throw eggs at me when I would get off the bus. I mean, y'all, it was like that. I got picked on all the time. But one thing that never bothered me was what other people said about me. Even though I didn't like getting picked on, <clears throat> a part of me even as a kid didn't really care I mean it hurt because I would have to go back and see these same people the very next day at school you know or whatever like in the neighborhood after school because there was some of them that lived close so that's the only thing that I didn't like was just like I could never get away from them unless I went inside my house but I always followed my own uh, way of doing things. I, I didn't care what people thought, especially when, as I started to get older. Like, I'm 36 now, but as I started to get older, I started to care even less. Like, does that make sense? I just, I've never cared because I've always been one of those people that took the road less traveled. And so I, I've always stood out wherever I went. Now, I don't wear makeup really anymore. Just because I work third shift. And I don't get out much because I don't have a car right now. So I, I don't feel... I mean, other than going and working out at the aquatic center and stuff, but that's when I'm swimming and I'm working out. So who's, I mean, I'm not one of them girls that wears makeup working out. The point I'm making is even when I would wear makeup, I hated wearing it. Now, I'll wear it if it's like a special occasion or if I'm going out with some friends or whatever, but I don't really go anywhere. I'm, I'm a real private person. But I just don't care what people think. Because I always knew I was different. I always knew I was different. And I've always been an old soul. Like I've always had an old soul. And I've been, and, and I've said this time and time again in my vlogs. Those that have been subscribed to my channel for a long period of time already know this. But for those of y'all that are new, y'all may not know because I've got 
close to a thousand videos already on YouTube. Close. Not there yet. So, I mean, there's hundreds of videos that maybe some of y'all newer subscribers haven't yet seen or come across yet or whatever. But I'm extremely, extremely empathic. And I've had this gift my entire life. But it wasn't like most people who have that gift. It, it's usually not until you, you reach your 20s or early 30s that you start to want to know more about it and you start to really embrace it and 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 you start to figure out how y'all got oh and you start to figure out how to separate what's your emotions and feelings versus the emotions and feelings of others that you may be picking up that may sound confusing if you're not empathic but for those that are, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to smoke during this vlog. I don't normally smoke a lot during my vlogs. But I'm going to smoke in this one. So if you hate smokers, keep it moving. Uh, look, I'm just keeping it real. Ain't none of us perfect. And I'm the last one to judge. So, hold up. I got to switch my hand. Like, I'm, I'm extremely empathic to, to a whole nother level. Um, for example, and I've given this example before. Before, and I'm sorry if I'm looking funky, y'all. It is what it is. Okay, for example, I could be in a grocery store. And let's say a woman walks past me. I don't know her. She doesn't know me. And let's say, you know, regardless if we make eye contact or not, it doesn't matter. Let's just say she just walks past me. Let's say, for example, I, I know I keep saying let's say, but let's say, for example, that she's going through something traumatic. Or, like, let's say she's in an abusive relationship but doesn't show any signs of it. Like there's no black eyes. You know, she doesn't have on big sunglasses, but you can see the blackness in, around the eye, out the corner of your eye. Nothing like that. Let's just say there, there's no evidence that she's in a domestic abusive relationship. Or let's say that she, she's feeling, let's say she's not even in a domestic abusive relationship. Let's just say that she's going through um, a deep depression or let's say that she's very sad about something I will pick up on it immediately and to the level that she's experiencing it does that make any sense so let's say she's dealing with a deep depression I will pick up automatically not only that she not, not only the fact that she's sad even if she walks by me and smiles not only the fact that she's sad but I will pick up on the depth that her sadness goes the depth of her sadness how deep does it go I'll pick up on that and I, I had to learn how to separate that because if you're new to your ability, if you are empathic and, and, and you've just come upon this realization, although most people that are truly empathic figure it out earlier on in life, they just don't really tend to embrace it till later on. Anyway, I will pick up on it and... and if you aren't aware that it's someone in your environment at that moment that's feeling that way and it's and those are the feelings from that person or or those people that you're it's their emotions and and, and their feelings that you're picking up on if you're not aware of that then you'll think it's your emotions and feelings 
and you'll start to think, dang, just a second ago I was happy and now I'm down. And then you'll start thinking, well, shoot, you know, is there bipolar? No, it's not you. It's, it's what, you, it's, 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 and, and, and it goes way beyond vibes. It goes way beyond vibes. A lot of the times, like, for example, I cannot watch, and I know some of this has to do with the fact that I am a mother, but even before that, anytime, and I don't watch cable, I haven't had cable in over 10 years. All I watch is YouTube, because anything you want to know about the, as far as real news, because I'm a part of the truth movement, um, let's say something, a, um, a video comes up about something that happened to uh, about kids being mistreated or neglected or animals being neglected mistreated abused i can't i can't watch um or anything that has to do with like murders i can't really watch because i will get so angry that people are so sick and evil to even do something to these animals and kids or even to another adult it's just, I can't, because then I will take in, even from a, a screen, when you're like really empathic, you can pick up on things even off of the television from what you see. And I'm sorry if I'm rambling, but I really wanted to share this with y'all, especially for my new subscribers, because it's not always a fun gift to have. However, I do believe God gave me this gift. And, and this gift works very well with people that work um, in the demonic, people that are deliverance ministers or are um, demonologists. This is a gift that they really should have already. Now, if you don't have it, you can work on trying to get that gift, but it's really something that you either have or you don't have. And it's not always a fun gift in the sense that, I'm going to put this out. I'm sorry, I didn't know if it was, for a second I thought it wasn't even recording. I was like, was I just talking for nothing? Um, a lot of time, it's hard because I can see through the BS and people like that. And, and y'all... I mean that with everything. I can see through people like this. I can tell when you're lying. I can tell when you're telling me half of a lie. I can, I can, you could look at me and be like, girl, I'm having such a great week. Like it's, and if you're really not, I'll see right through it. Like I, I just, and so it's, it's hard. It's hard to be. I've learned how to separate, like I said, I've learned how to separate what's mine and what somebody and, and what belongs to somebody else that I'm picking up on, but it's still difficult. If I'm out around a lot of people, I know how to not necessarily turn off the gift, but like I said, I know how to separate it, but I will automatically pick up. So if I'm in a room, if I'm in a restaurant and it's completely packed, and there's like 50 people that are going through hell that week. I'll just pick up on it. And and it's, so it's, it's not fun sometimes. It's just not. But it has helped me a lot to wean out the people in my life that were BS that had I not had that gift probably still would have been in my life so it's helped me in that and it's helped me to help others so I, I, I don't know I just wanted to share some of that with y'all once again I'm sorry if I'm rambling but I just really wanted to kind of get that off my chest because it's just it's a huge part of who I am and I guess that's a big reason why when it comes to the demonic and being able to pick up 
evil in an environment, I, I think that's a big reason why um, God has blessed me with the ability with that ability to be able to sense evil, pick up on it um, without even knowing anything about a location. So, or a person. So anyway, I, I'm sorry, but I just wanted to get that off my chest. So, I'm really looking forward to, to, to owning my own home, y'all. Like I said, I mentioned this in yesterday. I think it was yesterday's vlog. I'm, I'm really excited about it. I know it's going to take about three to six months, but I'm just really excited about it and and I have looked at I'm trying not to l spend a lot of time looking at properties you know different houses or really nice condos because I'll find one that I'll absolutely adore and there's a good chance that six months down the road it probably won't be for, for sale anymore so I don't like to kind of go through a lot of places online that are where I'm looking at because then I'm like, dang, it got, it's sold. You know what I mean? Now I can't get it. So, but I have scoped out a lot of places around the area that I want to move to. And um, they're just so nice. And, you know, the mortgage is really good. Like, it's just, yeah. So, I'm just, This is one of those things that God's working on me with, y'all. Is, is trying to just trust God with it, uh, work my faith, and I know it's going to happen this year. So I'm just staying optimistic. This is going on 22 minutes, and I feel like all I've done is ramble. Ramble? Yeah, that's the right word. So, oh, y'all, and, and one thing I wish y'all could also do is y'all know how YouTube now is starting to let, well, if you don't know, YouTube now is starting to let people that have at least 10,000 10, subscribers or more, they're now able to do live videos. And me and my daughter went live a couple nights ago on Facebook. But YouTube, YouTube, YouTube now is only allowing that option for people that have 10,000 or more subscribers. And I would love to do a live video. Like, not just once a week. Like, I probably would do live videos, like, at least twice a week. So, hopefully I'll get there soon. Um, but, yeah. Today is the 28th. And I've got to work tonight. It's Tuesday night. I worked last night. I work Wednesday night. But I'm off Thursday and Friday. And then I work this weekend. I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. Because I don't want to just keep talking. And ramble. I love y'all. Please hit the like button. And let a sister know that you like the video. Leave me a comment. Let's communicate. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Okay. I love y'all. Aggie out loud and I'm out. Peace.